And now for the second time in three years, the Phillies are looking for a new manager. The Phillies fired Gabe Kapler today after keeping fans waiting in suspense for a week and a half. Sports mm. director John Bell here with what's next for the Phillies. You always feel badly when yeah, this happens, though. Yeah, because, listen, there, there are people involved. You know? right. there, there are assistant coaches. There's a whole group of people associated yeah, with the sure. manager as well, so it's tough for everybody involved. Uh, Gabe Kapler was booed during introductions of the home opener in his first season. It's been a complicated relationship with fans ever since. Now it's over. It's been a long and busy day at Citizens Bank Park. Our Leslie Van Arsdal joining us with more. Les. Hey there, Don. Well, yes, this was clearly not an easy decision for the organization to make, and they took their time. But yes, as of this morning, the Gabe Kapler era with the Phillies is officially over. After two seasons that included an 81 and 81 finish this year, after adding superstar Bryce Harper, the Phillies fell short of expectations. Both seasons marked by a late season collapse that raised questions about Gabe Kapler's leadership. We spoke with 94 WIP's John Marks, who says it's not entirely his fault. I think that, that especially with, with Gabe Kapler, he's not a manager that came in making a high salary or having a lot of um, major league credibility. He was probably doing in part what his boss was telling him to do. The, G, the, the general manager's office was really the most powerful position on the team. And if, if the GM wanted Gene Segura sat or some of the other guys that weren't hustling sat, it could have been a very easy conversation that didn't happen because they were right back in the lineup. Meanwhile, the person who brought Kapler into the organization, Matt Klintak, will remain general manager. I don't think it's weird, but I, I don't think it's the right move. I think ultimately John Middleton is going to give him one more chance, and by bringing in a manager that has experience and has the chops, which hopefully is what they do, that has experience and has the chops of, of having success in, in baseball, Matt Klintak's um, his power is going to be snipped, right? right? Because if a Buck Showalter comes in, if a Joe Madden comes in, if a Joe Girardi comes in, Matt Klintak has proven nothing in Major League Baseball while we, these guys have. So I actually think it's a good checks and balances for what the organization was doing before, which was Matt Klintak was running everything from upstairs instead of a baseball man running it from the dugout. And so, yes, the search for a new manager begins. As for what comes next with the team itself, I'm going to have that for you coming up at 6 o'clock. That's the latest reporting live here from Citizens Bank Park. Leslie Van Arstel, I would sports. All right, Leslie, thank you. And, and we should point out there that we have not heard from the team's brain trust, at least on camera yet. They are scheduled to speak tomorrow. So we'll be looking forward to their comments. Okay. Wow. So yeah, mm -hmm. we were asking Don, is it's not the norm? Is it the norm to keep the GM and then get uh, rid of the No, I, I think in some situations you will fire the manager if you think the manager has had enough to work with. Mm -hmm. um, in this circumstance, it appears that Gabe Kapler to me just didn't listen. There were a lot of injuries there. Maybe this team underachieved, but he was not really helped out by the front office. I, I would say that for sure. Yeah. So we'll see how this thing uh, pans out moving forward. All right, mm -hmm. thank you.